Yeah, and you know, if I had to explain this with one word, it'd be normal. I spoke with someone who's been out here for the last two years and says that this is what happens. There's usually morning crossers who come out here, uh, about 100 of them, maybe 140 of them. They'll come out, they'll get processed, and around this time, Border Patrol agents will then go home and they'll, or they'll go back to their office and it stays like this. But this is what it looked like yesterday. You were showing it. We saw it. We saw the lines piling up before uh, Title 42. And, and a lot of them, as, as we keep talking about, a lot of them from countries that had nothing to do with Title 42. Uh, but yesterday, Yuma's mayor held a, a news conference yesterday asking for the federal government to call for a state of emergency because not only does he need money, but he wants the help and resources. These are people that have been vetted uh, to at least to the point where Border Patrol has issued them notice to appear papers at which, and which wherever they end up living in the country, they are to follow up through the judicial process. Unfortunately, that process is years, three to seven years to get through that whole process. Now, one of the other things that Yuma Mayor talked about was 100 migrants being released today. Now, I, I need to make this clear. It doesn't mean that they're going to start running around the streets of Yuma. Once they get released, there are three locations that they, that they may get released to. There are NGOs, non-government organizations that will be on standby, ready. So as soon as those migrants are released, there will be buses for them to get picked up on. And depending on which organization picks them up, they may be going to Tucson, Nevada, maybe San Diego. Some may even get driven straight to the airport where then they'd be flown across the country. So uh, pretty interesting that we're seeing this behind us. But if, if there was a way to explain it by someone who's been here for the last two years, he says, this is normal. This is what happens. They come early in the morning, uh, they get processed, and then it's like this the rest of the day until tonight or tomorrow morning. All right, Gibby. Thanks, Thank Gibby. you. Thank you so much. Great reporting out there. Thank